والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Dear guests, especially our special guest, Dr. Hani Albanna, and youngsters, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're going to start our program with recitation from the Holy Quran, and we have none other than Zaki ibn Masood Ahmad who's going to recite a few verses uh, in place of Sheikh Abu Tayyib, who was going to join us, but uh, he will probably join us a bit later. Uh, just to appreciate, Sheikh Abu Tayyib has kindly sponsored this program, the whole hire. So I'm very grateful to him, even though he's not here. Um, Zaki, please uh, come and recite for us. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I will be reciting from Surah Al Baqarah, which is chapter 2 of the Holy Quran, from verses 261 to 265, inshallah. A'udhu billahi min ash shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله كمثل حبة أنبتت سبع سنابل في كل سنبلة مئة حبة والله يضاعف لمن يشاء والله واسع عليم الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله ثم لا يتبعون ما أنفقوا منا ولا أذل لهم أجرهم عند ربهم لهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون قول معروف ومغفرة خير من صدقة يتبعها أذى والله غني حليم يا الذين آمنوا لا تبطلوا صدقاتكم بالمن والأذى كالذي ينفق ما له رئاء الناس ولا يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر فمثله كمثل صفوان عليه تراب فأصابه وابل فتركه صلى لا يقدرون على شيء مما كسبوا والله لا يهدي القوم الكافرين ومثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم ابتغاء مرطات الله وتثبيتا من أنفسهم كمثل جنة بربوة أصابها وابل فآتت أصابها وابل فآتت أكلها ضعفين وإن لم يصبها وابل فطل والله بما تعملون بصير I will now recite the English translation inshallah Those who spend their wealth in God's cause are like grains of corn that produce seven ears each bearing a hundred grains. God gives multiple increase to whoever He wishes, for He is limitless and all-knowing. Those who spend their wealth in God's cause and do not follow their spending with reminders of their benevolence or hurtful words will have their rewards with their Lord. No fear for them, nor will they grieve. 
A kind word and forgiveness is better than a charitable deed followed by hurtful words. God is self-sufficient and forbearing. O you who believe, do not cancel out your charitable deeds with reminders of your generosity and hurtful words, like someone who spends his wealth only to be seen by people, not believing in God and the last day. Such a person is like a rock with earth on it. Heavy rain falls and leaves it completely bare. Such people get no rewards for their works. God does not guide the disbelievers. But those who spend their wealth in order to gain God's approval, and as an affirmation of their own faith, are like a garden on a hill. Heavy rain falls, and it produces double its normal yield. Even if no heavy rain falls, it will still be watered by light rain. God sees all that you do. God Almighty has spoken the truth. Jazakumah. Thank you, Zaki, for reciting beautifully. We, I would like to first of all just acknowledge that one of our patrons, our brother uh, uh, Kudus Ismail Ali, has traveled all the way from Brighton, and we are very grateful to him for joining us has been a patron for a long time and also has we have a hospital ward named after him in Bangladesh uh, I will be asking him to speak uh, in a short while but uh, we have someone uh, who is also very distinguished and would be uh, a great help if he was able to say a few words I know he has to go somewhere uh, just give me one minute, and inshallah I will. So first person who's going to just say a few words before he goes is uh, our brother Mukhlesur Rahman Chaudhary. He is ex-Bangladesh President's advisor who is living in UK. He's a writer and a speaker. and. Uh, uh, we, we are honored to have him here, so I hope, would like to hear a few words from you, uh, Chef, uh, Brother uh, Mahfizur Ahmad. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear Chair, Mr. Masood Ahmed, Chairman Ikra International, Living Legend, Dr. Hani, Hani Albana OBE, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to congratulate the organizers of Ikra International, those who have arranged such grand gala dinner for charity. Charity begins at home, and you have started from here for Turkey and Syria, those who are affected there. I mean, I have Antoric Antostol the Antoric Mogorgo Janai, the Apnaraske, a Unusta Ajan Kurusan, Turkey among Syriate, the Samosto, Manusaske affected Hose, Tadeke, Sajo Karajun. Among Bangladesh, you know. After the Garo Songozon was the Bangladesh and Portuan, a Krantika of the Kurum Kurche, among Amade Desert, John Apra, Aske Udugni, and Juna Yapatis on Novajani. And I will request you to participate generously because this program will continue and I will be leaving and I am sorry for that uh, I could not stay with you until iftar but I would like to <coughs> wish success of your this endeavors and we will be able to get the support of the Bangladesh and we will be able to get the মানে দরাজ হস্তে দান করবেন এবং দান করে রেগে নিয়ে যাবেন ইনশাআল্লাহ আমরা যে যেখানে আছি আমি বাইরে গেলো আমার আরো কিছু লোককে সহ আমি চেষ্টা করব এখানে কন্ট্রিবিউট করতে এবং আমার মনে হয় বক্তব্য এখানে শেষ করা উচিত এবং আপনারা ইনশাআল্লাহ প্লিজ স্টার্ট দা ওয়ার্ক সো দ্যাট উই ক্যান প্রসিড ফর দা হিউম্যানিটি ইনশাআল্লাহ জাযাকাল্লাহ খাইর আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতুহু
There are people uh, who are committed to multiple programs, and that's why uh, we have to uh, reschedule uh, our, uh, our program a little bit just to make sure that we catch all our respectable, respectable uh, guests. So, uh, sorry, just bear with me a second. So I'm going to uh, ask uh, Molana uh, Sheikh uh, Abdul Qadir Saleh. He is an Imam and a Khatib and a community activist, and also at one time he was very active in uh, politics, as far as I know. So I would like to ask our uh, Ustad Sheikh Molana Abdul Qadir Saleh to say a few words. who has been a great supporter of. International and some of our charitable work. Yes. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Respected Chair, Distinguished Guest, Ulamai Karam, Brothers and Sisters, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, it's a very blessed time and this is a privilege for me to be in this extra mafil. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. This is a time of mafira. In Ramadan we are passing through and the few days left, the Ramadan will finish. As our Professor Allah says, this month is for my Ummah. This month is for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gift us this month for achieving our goal. And making ourselves ready to be a successful person in this dunya and the akhirah. So this is, we need, as Professor Hassan says in the hadith, that angels, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, angels, calling to the people, Ya Baghiyal, Khairi Aqbil. All the people who want good in your life, Aqbil. Just come forward, come forward. The angels always calling us every day. And Prophet says that the Ya Bagya Shari Aqsid. All the people are bad people. Engage with the bad deed and bad behavior. Just full stop. Enough is enough. You do you did enough. Don't regret for this. Just full stop. And come forward for the good deed. And this is Ikra International is an old charity, well-known organization in the UK, working in internationally. I have the privilege to be uh, with Ikra in many fundraising events in the television and meeting with their, uh, you know, uh, their board members. I know them very well. They work in Bangladesh in different area. As we are from Bangladesh Maximum, we, are, we know the Ikra's work in Silat, in Bishanath, um, in other areas, even in, uh, in Havigons, Novigon, in different areas they are working. And their work is huge. So they need support. They need support. And um, I'm very happy with them. When the, you know, in Turkey, the devastating earthquake happened, the, in my experience, the ECRA International is the first organization that act from the UK. Uh, in support of the you know, Turkey and Syria earthquake people. And they raise the fund, and then, and then they 
they physically and a sentence a deputation leader by Masood Bhai, Alhamdulillah, he stayed physically there and distributed uh, with the relief uh, to the people in Turkey and Syria. Uh, congratulations to the Ikra. We're going in two days time again. Inshallah, going again. Uh, this is the, this is our support and donation. Make this uh, you know big things happen. Alhamdulillah. I mean, Asha Kurchi, the Ikra International. আগের চেয়ে আরো বহু গতিতে সারা পৃথিবীতে তারা তাদের কার্যক্রমকে ছড়িয়ে দেবে আমরা যেন ইকরার সাথে থাকি ইকরা কোরআনের প্রথম ওয়ার্ড আর এটা দিয়ে আমাদের ফাউন্ডেশন যাত্রা শুরু তো ইকরা যেন আমাদেরকে বহু দূর এগিয়ে নিয়ে যায় সেই দোয়া করি আল্লাহ আমাদের সবাইকে প্রফিক দান করুন আর এক্স্যাক্টলি দ্য সেম এস মুখলিসুর রহমান চৌধুরী আই হ্যাভ টু গিভ মাই ফলোজি আই হ্যাভ টু জয়েন ইন অ্যানাদার ইফতার মাহফিল দাস বাই আই এম লিভিং নাও جزاكم الله تعالى السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. السلام عليكم شيخ. شيخ ما يدوا قومي. السلام عليكم. Thank you. جزاك الله خيرا. Time is short. Thank you so much for coming in between your busy schedule. Uh, we want to listen to our uh, distinguished uh, speakers, guests, especially Dr. Hani Al-Banna has come all the way from Birmingham. So what I want to do is just to put you in the right mindset. Share with you one or two clips, video clips, hopefully it will work, and show you some of our work, okay? We have projects in Bangladesh. We are running effectively two hospital uh, centers, two hospitals, and also we are working in different parts of the world, in Gambia, in uh, Turkey, Turkey is our, you know, in response to the earthquake, Alhamdulillah, we managed to raise some funds, and before we even raised any funds, we were there on the ground. And uh, anyone who wants to join me in two days' time, you're welcome. Uh, a few of us are going from, from here. We'll be taking another trip after Ramadan, inshallah, much bigger, a family group. Uh, youngsters can join and help build houses uh, and do many other things. So. Uh, what we're going to do is tell you more about those things, but now I want to show you two, two programs. Uh, they're just a couple of minutes each, uh, so if we can, uh, what I want to do is uh, play you a video that's just hot off the press. This is uh, a project I went to launch in Bangladesh, but uh, it was uh, partly interrupted because of the earthquake news, how devastating it became, and as a result, uh, what we did is, uh, I, I halted, I paused the program, went to Turkey, did some work, and then went back to Bangladesh. So let me see, I haven't even watched this program, by the way. Uh, and uh, the man who's behind this program, uh, who's helped us put it all together, has just arrived, Mr. Farhan Masood Khan. So thank you and welcome, Farhan Bhai. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, there should be a remote control here somewhere. Okay, so if it gets too loud, you tell me, inshallah. Those with bad back, make sure you face uh, the screen. And uh, so. Mr. Isaac Roy, our Basha Shaba Razashan Dharagam, our Puribare Axele Dume, our Shate Bursuli after building a pillar of Haya Karpa Kajigisipur. Basha is in Silesilo, Ashpatali Nigisilo. Nizia Toponikani Raksi for Amito Topon or Ogan Regis and Pisubuzine, Polishun Cizi, Papa Opposhu Paranaku, Pakaja Rakazabina, and Roy Takalam. I'm going to 
বন্ধুরা আমার কাছে গিয়েছে আমার কাছে নিয়ে দেখছে দেখা তারা ডাক্তারের কাছে নিয়ে আসছে আরো প্রতিষ্ঠানের ডাক্তারের কাছে আরো দুই বার আরো এক জায়গায় নিয়ে গেছে নিয়ে দেখছে দেখে দেখে তারা আমার অনেক সহযোগিতা করছে কিভাবে বানানো যায় তারা আমার সম্পূর্ণ সহযোগিতা Okay, I hope uh, I hope you found that uh, an inspirational program. What it is is that there are people who are walking around or in fact unable to walk uh, because they had an accident or somehow something happened and they had to lose a leg or a part of their body. And these people, these, there are three people I met when, during my visit and all three of them said they, they are prepared to have prosthetic leg, uh, like a uh, replacement leg so that at least they could walk. And uh, Alhamdulillah we had a donor who already sponsored two legs. So I said, Inshallah, we'll raise the money. Let's give to all three of them. And Alhamdulillah, we have raised the, uh, the, the funds to give them, and they are now walking. And they're praying every day. Every step they take, they are remembering that somebody has made a difference to them. I found it so inspiring. And I spoke to the trustees and everybody. What we want to do is, in fact, at least change 100 people uh, and give them that same opportunity. It doesn't cost much, only five, uh, 750 pounds or thereabout, depending on how complex the situation is. We'll tell you more about some of these exciting initiatives. There is another one about employment, but now I think what we want to do is, without losing too much time, hear a few words from one of our, one of our long-standing patron, Mr. Kudus Ismail Ali Bai. And he has come a long way. I'd like to just hear a few words from you. You can, you can speak in any language you like. Uh, but you are an inspiration for me. Because every time I feel like giving up. And sometimes, believe me, I do feel like giving up. He's someone who says something or inspires me. Says some stories, how he helped Ikra. And then I feel, let's carry on. I can't give up. And I think there are times in life we feel, we feel like that. That whatever you're doing, maybe it's not, you know, maybe you could do something different, maybe you could do something better. But you need people who encourage you. Sheikh, put this smile by, please. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم When distinguish our special guest uh, Dr. Alban Ma my brother chairman uh, Masud Ahmad Saab and all the distinguished guests honorable guests on the floor and uh, in the house it is my privilege to stand here and share in the platform with so many dignitaries. And it is, I think, I think it's, is it okay now? Uh, uh, it is, when I was coming and I was thinking that what I should say. I am not a good speaker. And I was thinking, should I be able to say a few words that which will touch people's heart? So I'm, I'm just think I am a lucky and brave enough to stand before you. And I will just say, when Ikra International started helping disabled people in Silet and Bangladesh and all over. I can say all over the world. Many other African nations as well, they are internationally helped by their donation, uh, their uh, support and uh, your donation. Mashallah, now a few years gone, and Ikra International is more stronger. We 
started a hospital in Silet where so many disabled people have help, get help from Ikra International. There are many young children, they could not able to stand by themselves. Now they can walk, alhamdulillah. It all belongs to those people who donated generously towards Ikra and they make able Ikra International to help them back. Alhamdulillah, now in Silek Hospital is fifth floor now completed, isn't it? Uh, third floor has been completed because last two years I haven't been there. And there is another hospital recently opened in uh, Bishona because there are a lot of disabled people in one single area and they are dedicated people of Ikra International. They are taking their service to them rather than asking them to come to Silet and have your uh, help. They have forwarded their service to them, to their home. Alhamdulillah, now it is both of them are uh, running simultaneously and a lot of people, poor and uh, disabled people are getting help. And I think it is the best help ever you can do to someone who haven't got a limb or disability or working problem. This, when you have help somebody to stand on his own foot or walk on his own foot, this is the best ever help you can do. This is what inspired me. When Ikra approached me, I, I have done the best possible I could do. I'm not a rich man. It is from out of my heart and it is all about my everyone's heart, really, to donate and help. Now, before I leave, I tell you, I, I will tell you a small story. Once, few years back, I was in Bangladesh, and one of my relatives approached me and said, can you help such and such fellow who is his cousin? I said to him, because you have got enough money, enough wealth, why don't you help him rather than coming to me and asking help? Now, he said, Oh, I haven't got enough. The money I have, this is only uh, running for ourselves, my family and things. So I said, if you wait for the money to be surplus your pocket or your treasury, and then you will help, you will never be able to help. Then he said, how can I help you? Help them then. I said, the real help is, if you find somebody coming to your door and say, I am hungry, I haven't eaten anything, then you do one thing. If you have only one plate of food in front of you, you take half of it and let him eat half and you eat half because you have, next morning you have food available for yourself. If you don't have another spare dish of food for this person today. So once you do that, then this is the real help. So my brother and sisters and my mothers, please do help when you have even a little bit you have uh, spare, do help them and don't think I will help once I have a lot of money in my pocket. I never do things like that because I cannot have a spare money in my pocket. Always I'm, I'm, I need money for this, need money for that, my children, my house, my this. Uh, my bills and things. But only when I cut down to something and I, I put forward, Alhamdulillah, I never ever felt that I am short of money. Even I am short. But when I pay towards, uh, towards those good causes, Allah had helped me so many different ways. So, please, please, be generous and help Ikra International for the people, poorer people for their better future, and they could have some food. Like today, we are having so many different food in our front of our table for our iftar. There are a lot of people in Syria and, uh, and, and uh, Turkey, and in Bangladesh, and so many other poorer nations that don't have enough food for taking oh, iftar, seven. rather than just uh, water and maybe hazur. That's it. So, 
that's it. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, and I uh, am leaving now. Please make dua for me as well. And remember me in your supplication uh, for this uh, Ramadan month. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. khairan. Thank you very much. We have many distinguished guests. And they're all in a rush. Some, uh, But uh, what we want to do is... Uh, uh, ask a couple of other people before we get to the main speaker. Uh, I hope you will bear with me. Uh, uh, can I ask uh, the chairman of East London Mosque, uh, Sheikh Ayub Khan, to say a few words in support of our work and to encourage us? Brother uh, Ayub Khan. Distinguished uh, guests, uh, brothers and sisters, um, I just uh, want to give you salam. I think uh, that's the best thing I can do now. Um, I'm not fully aware of uh, Iqra International's work, but what I know that all the charities are doing good work, alhamdulillah. And I'm here to actually learn uh, what Iqra International is doing and possibly support whatever I can and we can as a community to continue with the good work that all the charities, including Iqra International, uh, are doing. Um, there is no short of necessity or needs in the, in, in the Muslim world or around the whole world. Uh, and sometimes we think that you know, so many charities are doing uh, and why we need so many charities, maybe a few big charities are enough. But I think you know, even sometimes the small charities are doing even better work and going to the grassroots uh, and maybe reaching the people that other charities cannot reach. So I believe, um, and I, I would like to also request you to support uh, the work that the Inter International is doing, and of course you will be supporting other charities as well. Zakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Zakallah khair. Zakallah khair. Thank you so much for your words of encouragement. And inshallah, we will work together uh, in uh, progressing our services. Uh, next, uh, I want to ask a sister, Sister, let's go with How you all know this? Uh, I don't know how to hide this. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I want to ask Sister Sophia from uh, East London Mosque to say a few words, if you wouldn't mind, uh, especially as we have many sisters here and uh, you are a leader in the community doing lots of good work, mashallah. Please, if you could come this way. People like Sister Sophia, she meets People like Prince Charles, or now King Charles, and others. Yeah, so over to you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, meeting royalty is nothing but being in a gathering like this. SubhanAllah, just hearing about the work that Ikra International have been doing has been so inspiring. Um, I, I always get confused with other Ikra uh, um, institutions. And I didn't really um, see the gravity of the work and um, so thought, thoughtful work that is um, going, you know. Just listening to the uncle there talking about giving a limb, you know, a foot for someone to uh, step and, and be self-sufficient and uh, provide for his family is so amazing. Um, I'd love to be part of this. Um, I didn't realize, uh, Masafai, you have so many gems in your charity and inshallah, I think the whole community will support the work you're doing. 
Thank you, Sister Sophia. Jazakallah khairan. Thank you for all the good work you do in the community as well. And inshallah, together we'll make a difference. Uh, so, we have many we have many distinguished people amongst us, and uh, one of those individuals is multi-talented. He's a politician nowadays, uh, but before that, he is he has been a long-standing community activist, and uh, he uh, has been one of my like uh, my elder brother, who has guided me and taught me many things. He's a journalist, a well-known community activist and always there whenever Ikra needed his support, always supporting us. Just recently he raised uh, or encouraged another organization to raise 5,000 pounds and he's always encouraging us to raise funds for Turkey, for Bangladesh, for other projects. Brother uh, K.M. Abu Tahir Choudhury, please if you would say a few words. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The respected chair, especially of my beloved, respected chief guest, Dr. Hamir Ban Nawi. He is a founder of the Islamic Relief and Cherry Champion. I congratulate you in this meeting. We are very grateful to you because you are a you are a great person. We are very happy to see you today. Brothers and sisters in Islam. Alhamdulillah, I know Ikra International since the establishment. Ikra International is an international charity. They have been doing very good, very tremendous work to remove the poverty and create a fair society to help the little people, poor people, in many ways. Alhamdulillah, I am an advisor and supporter of that, a regular donor of that, Ikra International. Also, I have performed my duties as a chief election commissioner many times to their bilateral general meeting. I was a chief election many times. Alhamdulillah, I found Ikra International is a accountable, transparent, honesty, and they are doing very nice with their activities and everything. So just we'll hear something from our chief guest, Dr. Hani al But I'd like to say, please support Ikra International. Already you hear, already you know about the Ikra activities that are doing very good work in Sinai, Bangladesh. They are helping the disabled people in Bangladesh. They are doing work in Syria and Turkey. Everywhere in the world. So my brothers and sisters, my humble request to you. Please support Ikra International. Ikra appeal and all activities, we need your support. Also, I am a supporter. Please support them. I think uh, my brother, Basud Ahmad Kamal, is leading the organization now. All trustees are very genuine and very good person. So my last request, please support Ikra. Please stay with Ikra International. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa I think uh, you have all heard about Dr. Hani Al-Banna and you'd all love to hear him and learn from him. And whilst you are hungry physically, you also need to be hungry for knowledge. And if we can satisfy your hunger first, physical hunger, and then make it possible for us to listen to our esteemed guest, who's an inspiration for me in charity work. That will be uh, a great achievement. So what I propose to do is that rather than rushing our chief guest, we will engage in a little fundraising activity now and tell you basically all we want to do, we don't want to pressurize anybody, all we want to do is share with you some of our activities give you an opportunity to be part of it. Many of you are already part of it. Many of you have amazed me, especially my wife, who's spoken to a few of you, 
And every pro proposal that was shared, somebody supported it and raised funds. I think in the last few days she raised nearly 5,000 pounds. Alhamdulillah. Can you all say Allahu Akbar? Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. These things will go a long way. So what I want to do is ask our brother uh, Abu Said Ansari, who has joined us now, to kindly uh, help us with this next bit of the program. And then we will do a special dua with another esteemed guest, Sheikh Abu Said, who will be leading the dua before iftar. So, uh, and he has also arrived. So, inshallah, you will have a very rich program, and I pray that each one of you are able to stay after Salah. We will allow enough time for you to eat your food, have... Uh, We'll allow enough time for you to have your food, inshallah, relax, digest, do your Madhrib Salah, and then please, please join us for the highlight of the day, and network afterwards, you can take pictures, he doesn't like taking pictures, but he knows a picture, the value of pictures, because he cannot do charity work without pictures. So, inshallah, you'll all have a chance to take pictures with Dr. Banna and uh, speak with him, take some inspirations. But now, I hand you over to our well-known Sheikh scholar. He's also a media personality. He's very well-known, almost every day he's on TV, raising funds. He has his own business as well. But more importantly, he's a staunch supporter of Ikra International from, from the background. And I welcome our brother, Abu Said Ansari to please take over and run the next bit of the program. And while he's getting ready, I'll play a video for you, uh, which you can see. That will give you a flavor of some of the work that we're doing in Bangladesh. <laughs> ভাষা শহীদদের প্রতি শ্রদ্ধা জানিয়ে শুরু করছে আজকের সংবাদ সঙ্গে রয়েছে আমি জাকির রেজওয়ানা আনোয়ারা সবকিছু আগে সংবাদ শিরোনাম এবং সিলেটের প্রতিবন্ধী শিশুদের মাঝে বিশেষ হুইলচেয়ার বিতরণ করেছে ইকরা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল দানশীলদের প্রতি কৃতজ্ঞতা সিলেটে প্রতিবন্ধী শিশু সহায়ক উপকরণ বিতরণ করেছে যুক্তরাজ্য ভিত্তিক চ্যারিটি সংস্থা ইকরা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল সিলেটের বিভিন্ন জেলা এবং উপজেলা থেকে আগত প্রতিবন্ধী শিশুদের মধ্যে এসব উপকরণ বিতরণ করে সংস্থাটি বিস্তারিত জানাচ্ছেন সন্দীপন শুভ ক্যামেরায় ছিলেন লিটন চৌধুরী কারণে <laughs> বিভিন্ন সেবামূলক কাজের ধারাবাহিকতায় এবার প্রতিবন্ধী শিশুদের সহায়ক উপকরণ বিতরণ করেছে যুক্তরাজ্য ভিত্তিক এই চ্যারিটি অর্গানাইজেশন অনুষ্ঠানে হাসপাতাল পরিচালনা কমিটির চেয়ারম্যান অধ্যাপক ডাক্তার আজির উদ্দিনের সভাপতিত্বে স্বাগত বক্তব্য রাখেন ইকরা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল বাংলাদেশ চ্যাপ্টারের চেয়ারম্যান সাংবাদিক মুক্তা বিচুর নূর অনুষ্ঠানে প্রধান অতিথি হিসেবে উপস্থিত ছিলেন সিলেট জেলা পরিষদের চেয়ারম্যান অ্যাডভোকেট নাসির উদ্দিন খান 
প্রধান অতিথির বক্তব্যে অ্যাডভোকেট নাসিরউদ্দিন খান বলেন ইকরা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল প্রতিবন্ধী শিশুদের কল্যাণে যুগান্তকারী ভূমিকা রাখছে এভাবে সভা সম্মিলিত প্রচেষ্টায় প্রতিবন্ধী শিশুদেরও অনেকটাই সুস্থ করে সাধারণ জীবনে ফিরিয়ে আনা সম্ভব বলে তিনি আশা প্রকাশ করেন ইকরা যেভাবে এই উদ্যোগ নিয়ে ভাই সমাজ সেবা করে যাচ্ছে আমি তাদেরকে ধন্যবাদ এবং কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই অনুষ্ঠানে সম্মানিত অতিথির বক্তব্য রাখেন চ্যানেল এস এর চেয়ারম্যান আহমদুসামাদ চৌধুরী জেপি এবং বিশেষ অতিথি হিসেবে বক্তব্য রাখেন ইকরা ইন্টারন্যাশনালের চেয়ারম্যান মাসুদ আহমেদ প্রতিবন্ধী ডিসঅ্যাডভান্টেজড এন্ড ডিপ্রাইভড শিশু কিশোর যারা আছে তাদের আমরা যদি অন্তত একটা লাইভলিহুড এর ব্যবস্থা করে দিতে পারি সেটাই হবে আমাদের অ্যাচিভমেন্ট টু গো টু এক্সপ্যান্ড দ্য সার্ভিসেস ইনশাআল্লাহ এন্ড আই লুক ফরওয়ার্ড টু uh working with uh, other people in the field who can come and volunteer who can donate who can help ikra to move forward inshallah protibondhi shishu sahayok upokoron bitoron onushthane aro boktobo rakhen ikra international er bangladesh chapter er vice chairman advocate shahidul islam shahid bangladesh chapter er secretary badrul amin haro onushthan sheshe sharirik protibondhi shishuder moddhe standing frame special chair corner chair o akar ittadi protibondhi sahayok saranjam bitoron kora hoy যে জিনিসটা দিয়েছেন আমরা তো এটা খুশি হয়ে গেছি আমি এই বছর নিয়ে খুব কষ্ট করি আজকে একটা বাদাম খুব আনন্দ লাগছে সন্দীপন সুব্ব চ্যানেল এস নিউজ সিলেক্ট আসসালামু আলাইকুম আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতুহু আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতুহু Don't don't worry inshallah we have got plenty of food inshallah I want a beautiful reply from you guys Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Masbeta masha Allah inna alhamdulillah salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah thank you very much Jazakumullah khairan wa sunnatan jaza Let me recite a um, few verses from the Quran al-Karim from surah al-munafiqun inshallah uh, verse uh, 9 and 10 and 11 inshallah then we'll do a bit of fundraising actually i'm not prepared for uh for fundraising as guys in our pocket khali from all like anyway but uh, inshallah that i'll be resigned few verses and actually i came to listen to the shiyu especially uh sheikh banna and sheikh abu saeed and others and jazakumullah khair wa sanad jazaa wa ja'al fi mizan hasanati sheikh allah yazik al khair allah yazik al afiyah wa yasalim ala أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تلهكم أموالكم لا تلهكم أموالكم ولا أولادكم عن ذكر الله subhanahu wa ta'ala he addressed the mu'min us in a subhanallah the believers ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu o the believers la tulhikum amwalukum wa la awladukum an dhikrillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says about our amwal our our properties our money in a subhanallah 
our money, our savings, our bank balance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about our umwal. Wala awladakum and your children. They must not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says that each must not be ghafil. And we say in Bengali, ghafla. This is an Arabic word, ghafil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says that لا تُهِكُمْ أَمْوَالِكُمْ وَلَا أَوْلَادُكُمْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ And sometimes we become ghafil. We, we become lazy from the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we are too busy with our children, with the marmal, with our poverty, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. In other ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Hatta zuntum al maqabir. And those who are lazy and those who do not spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who are busy with their mal and the children of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَمَنْ يَفْعَلَ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ They are the khasirun, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. In other words, they are the losers. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَأَنْفِقُوا He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is doing the fundraising, right? وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاكُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِ أَحَدَكُ الْمَوْتِ And he span on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and give, give charity until the death comes to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. And when death comes, then the people, they would say, فَيَقُولَ رَبِّ لَوْ لَا أَخْرَتَ لِي إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ فَأَصْوَدَّقَ وَأَكُمْ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ then allow me a few seconds, few moments, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. One minute or two minutes, few seconds, allow me. Then what we're going to do? We're not going to say that we're going to read the Quran. We're not going to say that we're going to go to Islam the Mosque to pray the Raya. We're not going to say that we're going to go to Hajj to, uh, to perform Hajj. We'll say, فَأَصَدَّقَ We're going to do charity. We'll stand on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will be amongst the salihin, the righteous people, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is not going to allow us at the time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not do it, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. In another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, فَإِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلْهُمْ لَا يَسْتَعْقِرُونَ سَاعَةً وَلَا يَسْتَقْدِمُونَ when the time comes, when the time of death comes, when the angel of death is here, and my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, there wouldn't be any ta'khir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's angel will not take your soul before the certain time, or even after the, the certain time, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. It is really scary ayah. But how can we get relief from, from the torment, subhanAllah, the torment of the qabr, the grave, the torment of Jahannam. Allahumma jina min al-nar wa isa ameen. Allahumma inna na'udhu bika min al-fitrat al-nar. Through our donation, my dear brothers in Islam, through our charity. Iqra International, they have been doing tremendous job, subhanAllah. And I personally know them, Habib Bai, Maswad Bai, Radwan Bai, Lafif Bai, the current General Secretary, Badr Zaman Bai is a very good friend of mine. And what amazed me, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, you see that. The, the packages, subhanAllah. You know, they, they give the wheelchair. The, the time they were giving the wheelchair and raising funds on the TV, that really, really uh, is attracting me, actually. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, subhanAllah, the wheelchair is not something, you know, people they can afford in Bangladesh. SubhanAllah, many people they can't afford that, the poor people. And they become the burden of their family because they don't go anywhere. And only one wheelchair can, in a subhanAllah, change their life, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. And also clean water. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, if you have, do you have this? Do you have this? So I don't need to read them out. And subhanAllah. In a minute you're gonna drink water, inshallah. After just come on, you're gonna drink water, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. SubhanAllah. And if Iqra, if they don't provide you water, we are lost, subhanAllah. And one day a Sahabi came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Listen to this. And many of you know, because always we talk about this in our TV appeal. One day a Sahabi radiallahu anhu came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says that my mom has died. What can I do for my mom? 
And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that uh, give water, give water. Afdalu sadaqati sabiwul maha. And then Sa'ad ibn Uwad radiallahu anhu, by the way, the Sahabi, subhanahu wa ta'ala from Ansar. And he says that, listen to this, Afdalu sadaqati, the best form of charity is to give water. Sabiwul maha, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Anybody who wants to give water to the people, inshallah, doesn't matter how much you you give, inshallah. And I, I, I believe Brother Masood, he will explain how they give water to the people and where they give water to the people, inshallah. Let me just tell you, when I was in Bangladesh, just recently, one family, their child comes to the Ikra hospital. He's only like four years old. He gets, he gets physiotherapy and all these things. Now he's learning to walk. And the lady who brings him is his grandmother. She said that uh, my husband is also disabled. He can't go out of the house. So I am responsible for all of them. And one of the additional tasks I have is to go to the river. She has to walk quite a long distance and then fetch water for them to drink. So immediately, alhamdulillah, from Ikra, we were able to give a tube well. The problem was the location they have, you can't give them one of those shallow tube wells. So you need to give them a deep tube well. Uh, and it cost only 500 pounds still. Only 500. Only 500 pounds. And that inspired me to say, why can't we raise 500 pounds for 100 families? I'm sure every one of us can do that. If we just talk to five friends, we can raise 500 pounds. If each one of us do that, you will see what happens. Now they are drinking. Another family, another person I know, when, when we gave him a tube well, he said, I, it is as, after all these years of drinking from the, from the little, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, it's like a swimming pool, but it's not a proper swimming pool. There are pukurs that are required. Pukur of anir khalor fani khaitera. One is from Oshustoise. You can pay by installment, inshallah. Anybody wants to raise your hand towards water project, inshallah, just before you. Uh, drink water and you're gonna give water to the poor and needy people. One brother, there is Takbir. Come on, guys, you have got plenty of food in front of you. Takbir. MashaAllah. Can we have another hand, number two? Inshallah, just for water. Because in a minute, you're gonna drink water, inshallah. And you know you're thirsty and you know the importance of. There is another, another two, two sisters are there, mashallah. There's one by two sisters are there, Habib by. Can I have number three? Number three for water, inshallah ta'ala. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhanallah, he said, this is the best form of charity. Afna Buzani, Banglai Bulaidullah. Afna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhanallah, he said, this is the best form of charity. Afna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhanallah, he said, this is the best form of charity. Subhanallah, you can pay by instrument, right? Yes. You can pay by instrument of an aske fashion wala tonight. Niyot khuruka Allah do ayri, inshallah. Can I have number four hands? Number four, inshallah ta'ala. Can I, number four is there. Thank you for this brother. Thank you be. What's your name, brother? Allah. Arafat, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite us on the day, on the day of Arafat in your, on the day of Arafat in Arafat. The, the, the day is called Arafat, and the place is called Arafat, my dear brother. Islam. Can I have number five, inshallah, ta'ala, number five? Number five, just for water, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Uh, imagine, subhanAllah, that water, the, the people they drink from your water, the people they make old ulma and old from your water, they will beg their fast from your water, they will have the sahur from your water, they, even the insects, even Afra Kyalakurani. One, one sister there, number five, mashallah, is number five? Okay, there's another sister, mashallah. We need to do a television for all of us, mashallah. Zainab, but by enter for better than you can, and then I'm not going to be able to get it. Allah knows best. But they, they do, mashallah. How many, how many you get? We have got, have you by five? Five, alhamdulillah. Thank you, B. 
Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Can I go to number six? Inshallah, at least ten brothers you have to see, or sister, Inshallah, from this audience. And it is possible, Inshallah. Can I have number six? Daruka, Ze, Ze, Afnar, Ekta, Jodi, Foreign Girl, Jodi, Khai, Fani. Sinta Korani. Ekta, Masir, Jodi, Fani, Khai. Ekta, Prajabuti, Jodi, Fani, Khai. Then it's referring Sadaka, Jariya, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Sadaka, Jariya. Sadaka, Jariya, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Mosham, Mata, Huilana, Mosham, Mata, Dikta, Ride. किंतु जब तो हम लोग फानी खाए आपने कितना भाई बा आपने इधर सात आपका जारी है भाई बा इन्शाअल्लाह कैन आई हैव नंबर सिक्स इन्शाअल्लाह नाला नंबर सिक्स एनी ब्रदर और सिस्टर दिस टेबल आर रियली क्वाइट मशाअल्लाह आई डोंट जस्ट वन ब्रदर ही रेसिस आलोदी भाई अपने एक तो मेहनत करो तो टेबल Zakumullah, can I have number six? Inshallah, we, you know, the time is approaching for iftar. What time is iftar? Two is here. Two is here. Mashallah, seven. We have got. There is another one. There is another one. Eight. Eight. I think five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think the last one. Last one. Tilka ashara tilka amila. The last one. Subhanallah. Ina wal amal bil khawatim. You know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will judge our Jannah and Jahannam according to our last action. Are you saying that, Sheikh? Are you saying that, Sheikh? Naam. Naam. My dear brothers in Islam, the last one, number 10, we are looking for number 10. Tilka asharatun kamila. The beautiful number 10, inshaAllah ta'ala. Number 10, who is not 10 down in history, of course. Subhanallah, the beautiful number 10, according to Al Islam, Subhanallah. I'm not going to say that, I'm not going to say that, I'm not going to say that. Fani tu kaitan ni apa? Ya Allah, please. Okay, insyaAllah there is another one. So he's gonna show you. But let me finish. Let me finish in a subhan Allah hotel project. InsyaAllah dah buka. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then kau isen fani khawani tu sahaja lagi. Then kau isen nak kub korban lagi ya. Afnar kau isen nak je fukur korban lagi ya. Digi korban lagi ya. Kalau ekek semua ekek macam apa korban? Jangan tarik pun cium bol boleh jadi subhan Allah. Bovisho te yodwa, afra chems water ito pare, shuma water ito pare, basir ito subhanallah. And then Rasulullah hikmah da hoka. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we say, zisakki ul ma, jitu me fani ul khawar be mustafa. We have got card machine as well, PDQ card machine as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your donations. We say, takbir! MashaAllah, number 10, we are still looking for number 10, inshaAllah. The Rukha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, sahaba radiyallahu anhum wa arda radiyya Madinat al-Manwara ta'ala. Listen to this. He came to Madinat al-Manwara, right? And then, Bi'ir al-Rumah, you know the story of Bi'ir al-Rumah. You know, subhanAllah, Jewish brothers and sisters, they used to own the uh, the, 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 the well there. Abu Tala Fani Nidana, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sahaba Ikram, Ole Fani, O Tishtu, you saw him, Fani Tishta, and subhanAllah, Fani Bairana, O Du Khorta, Gusol Khorta. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what did he say? He said that, he asked the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, whoever can buy, purchase this well from the Jewish community, I guarantee Jannah for you, Subhanallah. Rasulullah says, "Kira kira nazi kursi." Koi se nabi Jannah guarantee diram, Subhanallah. Who purchased that well? Who purchased the well? Sheikh to hui ba, he knows Subhanallah. Give me a speaker. You understand me, Guli? Little bit, little bit. Sheikh to zano bi, Mashallah. Who who purchased the well? Uthman ibn Affan radiyallahu an, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Subhanallah. And Uthman ibn Affan radiyallahu anhu was very very generous. Show us the generosity today, subhanallah, like Uthman ibn Affan radiyallahu anhu. Anybody, the last person, can be like Uthman ibn Affan radiyallahu anhu. And he can show your generosity, inshallah ta'ala. Anybody from this table or that table or the corner over there, Nadipa is working, inshallah. Subhanallah, or you know, two people can give, inshallah, you can do that, you know, subhanallah, or even five people can say, well, I'll give 100 each, inshallah, no problem. Can anybody do that, inshallah? Can anybody do that? One brother is talking over there, Latif boy, can you please uh, do uh, some mehmet over there, inshallah? That, that, that table was really, really empty. I can see some beautiful face, you know, uh, people like Bill Gates there. Please go, go to that table, inshallah. Jazakumullahu khairan wa ahsan al-jazaa. Wonderful, brother. 
Mahbub by he's going to participate. Okay, inshallah ta'ala. Say takbir for Brother Mahbub. Alhamdulillah, jazakumullah khair. Okay. Khalid Bay. Khalid Bay, okay, mashallah. So you're up on 11 now. We're going to 10. Mashallah, takbir. Mashallah, see? Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our donations is Ameen Ya Rabbah There is something very important my dear brothers and sisters in Islam It's called prosthetic limbs And subhanAllah uh, It's very very important and if you see the video Then you would understand how important it is And this is also Sadaq uh, Ajariya my dear brothers and sisters in Islam So I'll be, uh, please bear with Mas'ud by who is going to explain to you inshallah Zakallah khair Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Zakallah khair SubhanAllah, you know, the, the story of this gentleman that I'm going to share with you is just a one minute video. I found it so moving. He was a builder. Yeah, he was a builder. He was working on the fourth floor of a building. And you know, uh, sometimes in building sites, there aren't the regulations that you expect in a country like this. The man was working without any proper scaffolding and things. Unfortunately, from the fourth floor, he collapsed, he fell, and he was working with a heavy machine which he was holding on to, that also fell on him. And then, unfortunately, he nearly died. So he's grateful, he said, Alhamdulillah, I'm still alive. But unfortunately, from his navel downwards, he became completely paralyzed. He needs somebody to lift his leg to put it on a wheelchair. He can't take a step ever since that time. For the last 11 years, please listen to this carefully. Children, for the last 11 years, this man, his name is Turaba, you will see his story. He has been begging on the streets. And one of our volunteers in Dhaka, he works in a bank and he met this man and he spoke to him. And he said, why you look like a young man? Why you are begging here? And when he heard the story, he shared it with us. And from Ikra, immediately, one of our generous sisters, you will see her name on the video. She immediately decided to sponsor him. And that was the beginning, that was the beginning of the prosthetic legs project. We are going to sponsor 100 people, inshallah, from Amen. here on. We are going to sponsor them and help them to go into business. Uh, so this one is actually called uh, From Begging to Business. What we did is that we converted his wheelchair, we gave him a wheelchair, and it's a very innovative idea. We converted his wheelchair into a little shop with little frames around him, and he's hanging those little baskets, biscuits, tea, and everything else within the stall. When we gave him the, uh, the actual wheelchair, he said, I haven't got money to buy the food. I haven't got money to buy the tea, flask, and all the things I need. Immediately we raised funds and we gave him the full package. It only cost 500 pounds, would you believe? Now he's an independent person. On the first night, I went to see him after he started his business. He raised 4,000 taka. Subhanallah. Everybody say, Allahu Akbar. May Allah give him barakah, and because of him, we are now rolling this out to so many people, and Alhamdulillah, you'll hear uh, how many people are supporting this project. It's like life today. From today, this will be a new beginning and this will change your life. Ashur, Ibrahim International Project. So this is another innovative project that we have launched and you can see how it makes a difference. Time is very close to iftar. Anyone can, uh, uh, I want you to think about this man. 
Think about what you can do to change your life. Inshallah, we'll continue. I think uh, it's nearly start time. Yeah. We need someone to give adhan. Who can uh, volunteer? We need a uh, uh, muadzid. Yeah, I can. Yeah. But uh, just before that, we just want to have a quick dua, please, from Sheikh Abu Sa'id. No, no, he will speak after Salah. After Iftar. After Iftar. After Isha. After Isha, okay. Assalamu alaikum. Time to my Khalid Wa. I'll make to about one thing I can't. I can't satisfy myself. I am not convinced unless. I name that man who created this Iqra International Charity. He was Mr. Munawar Bhutra from my area, from my union. And we were with him even from day one I was there. I still continue to pay something. So we should not forget our brothers, those who show us the path. Munawar Baddurduja, what is his position now? Whatever all the presidents and treasurers, secretaries, well-wishers, members are together doing and will be doing until their life ends, they will get rewards. And Badrunduja from his grave, he will get a similar reward because he has started this noble project. You remember, all of you remember Badrunduja. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him and accept all his efforts, accept Masood's efforts, and before that, uh, Mr. Abdul Haq Habib, he's not into it. Sent his apologies. Subhanallah. May Allah accept their efforts and forgive their shortcomings. Allahumma amin. Rabbana sakubbal minna. Inna ka anta sami'u dhali wa subhanayna. Inna ka anta sawadu wa rabbul. Allahumma afir zunubana wa israfana fi amrina. Wa sabbit anta wa nalun. Surna wa nalun qawmin kafir. اللهم تقبل جهودنا في سبيلك وجعلها مسميرة يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ارحم بأمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم احفظهم اللهم احفظ من اليهود والنصارى والمشركين اللهم أغنهم يا أرحم الراحمين يا غني سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين.